And we have my father, Courtney Brown, the field marshal, the professor himself. Um, father, we've already talked a little bit in some other posts about your connections with uh, your friends uh, in Asia and out of Pakistan, the Pakistan plug. We spoke uh, about your friend down in the Caribbean, down in the Bahamas. And because you had three, well, including back with uh, Eddie's old man, the Italians, they were international. You really had four, but one of the runs you had that we never spoke about and that people in the audience is always kind of asking is about the Nigerians. Because for a while people were talking about the Nigerians being involved in the street. But you had a, you had a run with the Nigerian crew for a minute. Can you tell us how that all came about? 19, let me see, the 84, I got out in 84. If it, this had to be, the hospital had to be 1990. Had to be 1990. So you didn't, you didn't run into Otai at Springfield after your, um, you ran into him in Milan? I'm telling you, now, now that I go back on it, um, Springfield, that's where it was. I was back the hospital there. So this is right after your run, right after your run with um, Mr. B down in the islands, you had got a gun violation, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the gun violation, the 18 months, they sent you to Springfield, yeah, Missouri. Yeah, Missouri, yeah. That's where I met Ota. And Ota, that's what you're saying, you and Ota. So that'd be 1991. So he got out before you? He got out of Springfield yeah, before, before you? He got out yeah, before I did. And anyway, we left his exchange numbers. It'd be 1990 and 91. But anyway, we get in contact with he told me if I could get him or his people X amount of dollars, he could make some move. Cause I I did I raised up fifty thousand. I sent two friend girls of mine over there to Nigeria. They gave her the money. Then we met as people in the islands. So first time you send the crew to Nigeria. Yeah. They. Bring back the package. No, they they paid, gave them. The they money. gave them the money, and they it. told them we would meet them in the islands. I can't think which one. Antigua, wasn't it? Yeah, and we met over there. The guy bought the package in a suitcase. It was real concealed, mm -hmm. yeah, a briefcase, concealed in the briefcase. Would you say the Nigerians were as good as anybody when it came to smuggling? Yeah. They, they had mastered the smuggling game real good. Because you never would even know. If I didn't tell you, dogs couldn't spell it, nothing. It cleared through custom like you were nothing. What about the quality of their product? Now, the quality of the product was not as good as the Italians. Or later, when I started dealing with the Pakistanis, it wasn't as good as theirs. But it was a good quality. It was a good quality, but it wasn't you know, the same grade. So they ended up, um, well, the Nigerians for a minute, you know, you don't hear much about them. But you, as the Nigerians have a reputation of being good businessmen, would you say that that is a, that's a true statement? They were pretty much straight up with their affairs? They're still with their affairs. I first got hip to the Nigerians, actually through Rudolph. They were staying in the same building Rudolph stayed in the film. Now we're going back to, you're talking about the 70s. Yeah. So long before anybody, Rudolph was talked that. Was yeah, saying. yeah. And but he, he had said the Nigerian was bad and they offered him some drugs. And they had to her through the great, course through the great bad. That's why I first found out that the Africans was in the drug smuggling or drug business. Right. It was Nigerians. But they're not until, actually until I went to uh, Springfield, actually met, they actually talked to some Nigerians. But they, they were pretty good business people. They, they never, they were, we had left the money in, that, in, 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 in in Nigeria. And they told us the guy would be there. She, when we got there, the guy was there with the package. Well, boom. Yeah. So you have to see what trust word. Because you actually paid in advance. I paid in advance, yeah. So they could have just ran off. Yeah, mm -hmm. 50000 
spot. Um, oh, I wanted to go back to just to kind of go back to the other though. What what had John Hurt the Baptist done that caused for Mister B to want to uh, to harm him? He sleeps on his thing. Uh, what did Baptist do? <laughs> Anyway, he was, I don't know if he didn't get read enough, he even lost the shit of fuck, messed it up. I can't even remember what, exactly what he did. He does something. And Mr. B was upset because he supposed to met Mr. B in the islands with the Mahamas, you know. And he had done something. And uh, Mr. B was kind of, no, I, oh, what, yeah. Uh, he had, hey, that's when he started dealing with Jerry. Baptist that. Jerry got out, and I introduced. First, Jerry was going up with Baptists to New York to meet the Italians. Right. And they went to And uh, I don't know what transpired with that. And then I introduced uh, Jerry to uh, to Basil. And that's when he started dealing with Basil. And Basil... Uh, John, I can't think of what John did. He did something. It wasn't really a little serious. We done something stupid. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he supposed to met him at a certain time. We didn't beat him. They were very business-like. Yes. Yeah, he was very business-like. So anyway, I took Basil going to call Ray with and Robert about what Baptist had did, and he just had the other one. I told me, you know, I'm going to kill that mother. I said, we can't do that, yeah. Basil. You mean me and Courtney, Mr. B? I said, he got to go fall back on me. I went to his bones. So anyway, he calmed down and let that back on be back on. Well, that's a, maybe a lesson for the for the new generation that uh, what seemed like a life or death matter if you give a minute for some calmer heads mm-hmm. to prevail, the, the situation tends to take care of itself. Oh. Oh, but you were saying, I think, um, Lewis, uh, somebody in one of the comments about Haiti. Uh, what was, what was, um, so on the, to show you the connection of the of the whole world. So your man in the islands of the Bahamas, he also was dealing with some people in Haiti? No, he was dealing with the Columbus uh, cartel. With Colonitas Astrobar. He had pretty good influence with the government in the Bahamas. Basil did. And they used the island as a catch. But they would uh, store this cocaine and stuff before it come to the United States. Norman Scare. Yeah. Norman K. Cup. Your man met. Ten Island. And your man mm-hmm. met uh, Carlos Leader, didn't he? Yeah, John the Baptist. You had sent him down there. Yeah. I mean, I thought the Hazel was just one time when you had sent me down there to see him. He would, or maybe just as an intermediary, sometimes run the other 80. He could have been an 80, you know, uh, playing. But I can't tell you, I don't know what you do with some Haitians or not. I can't speak of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for providing some time. Um, make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe, and share button. Stay tuned for uh, information on when the book will be out Motown Mafia, Big Man on Campus. Um, we got some more stuff coming. Um, appreciate all the support. Peace. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. BigBossFilmWorks.com. Spencer and them. Spencer say that them guys off Texas talking about kidnapping you and holding you for $50,000 ransom.